Hey everyone, it's the Tides Changing here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do arched or domed roofs. So this is pretty similar to how you do the vaulted ceiling, except there is one key difference which I will get to in a few seconds. But first I'm just going to put in the scaffolding next to it, so the three, four, three floor scaffolding to get it to get the top levels a little bit higher, which you can see here. And once again, like with the vaulted ceilings, this just sets the high point of the um, the arch. So if you want to be a little higher or lower, you can lower or higher the ground underneath this. And typically when you do arch ceilings, you don't have a roof. Usually this is done for modern homes, so there's not really a roof. But if you do want to have an arch ceiling with a roof over it, put that in. Be sure to put that in ahead of time because you will not be able to after you do the arch roof and then you're just gonna have to redo it and it's really annoying to have to redo it. So first I'm just gonna make sure I have the constrain floor elevation false cheat on. So constrain floor elevation false. And now I'm just gonna drag this across so this is even so I'm just going to drag it across the two center pieces right here so the key di the key difference between an arch and a vaulted ceiling is that with the vaulted ceiling each time you lower it you lower it by the same amount and that's what gives it that vaulted slanted look but with the arch ceiling you want it to be to gradually increase the amount you lower it by and that's what gives that arched look so the first time I'm actually just going to hold alt down and lower by just one step level. And just what holding down arch does is it allows you to lower by one step level at a time except for it, unlike the four step levels that it defaults to. So now I'm just going to drag that across here. And then over here on this side. And now I'm going to lower by two step levels. So hold down Alt, and then here hold down Alt again. And just get rid of those stairs. And now I'm just going to lower it, drag it from the lowest point here over. And now I want to drag it across this right, this tile right here. And as you can see, you're starting to get that more gradual look there. So now I just want to do the same thing on this side over here. And this time, instead of lowering it by two, I want to lower it by three step levels. So hold, so hold down Alt there and again, and then again on the end of this. And really, you could start by lowering it by two, and then do three, and then do four depending on what you want. You can get pretty creative with this. And now I want to drag it across right here. So once again you're starting to get that gradual look. And I've actually seen a lot of um, the, like in most uh, tutorials on how to do arches, a lot of people use the ground. And that's what I originally did, but then it's just, the ground is kind of annoying to use because it's not as accurate as it was in The Sims 2. Like, so if I want to, you know, raise it by just one step level, you know, and I hold it down and click it lightly, that's not one step level. So I try again. It just, it's, it's not very accurate and it's, it can get really annoying. So I just prefer to use the steps, which is a bit more accurate. So now I just want to drag it across right here. And once again, you get that gradual arch look. And you do typically want to have, let me see if I can do this without ruining it. Oops. I forgot to mention, you do usually want to have another row or so here. So I'm actually just going to have to redo lowering that. Um, and that's just so it you don't end up with the roof like flat on the edge there. So let me do that now, and I can just redo flattening that. I don't think I'm going to mess anything up. <laughs> so now, because like I said, I don't want this to end flat, so now I'm going to have to lower it by 5 and then drag it across here. So let me do that. And then this time I'm going to hold down Alt to get 5. And then I find the lowest point once again, right here. 
and then this time I drag it across this floor here. And now I just want to get rid of the pieces on the edge here. And here you have a nice arched roof, which looks pretty nice. I, I personally like using the stairs more than trying to mess around with the ground while doing it. And it's you have to do the same thing and get the ceiling to show underneath here. So just grab a random floor tile and hold it up. And there you can see what it looks like from inside. It just it looks really nice and it looks really beautiful when you're doing the fly throughs and it just adds a really nice level of detail to the house. So one last thing that I'm going to show. Oh, actually something I forgot to mention is that really if you have any rooms underneath it, you should do it ahead of time. I neglected to. So now let's say I'm like, oh crap, I need to put a room here and I do this and then now I go up and it's just, it's all messed up and that's not going to be easy to fix at all. You kind of just screwed up your roof there and pretty much have to redo the whole thing. I mean, I'm able to get away with dragging this across, but I, that's not going to fix all of it. So I kind of messed it up. Yeah, so you still have that's messed up right there. So just, just if you have rooms, like you will now pull that wall up there. So if you're going to have rooms underneath something like this, you want to do it ahead of time. You want to think of the floor plan ahead of time so you don't have to redo the roof. Because as you can see, if you don't think ahead on these things like you saw earlier, you can, you can mess it up and have to redo things. And you want to be careful about that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to do arch ceilings and that it helped. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't. Thanks for watching and bye.